it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new champion John Bones Jones, and I think by and large this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight the way that he did. John Jones once again building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Bones Jones steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in the octagon for this one. Well, Tommy Aspinall's fans travel well as we get to some early action here. A lot of people believe that this is the future of the heavyweight division. Arguably the best submission artist in this division at present. And he believes he's going to be able to get this fight to the floor. Rather than to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. And doing work with the jab. Pinpoint jab from Johnny Bones. 84-inch reach. Must be nice, DC, right, to have that length. Ooh. Oh, got the hand free and landed out of the clinch position. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Nice defense there, huge block. 
and again shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how pissed he is as he attacks a submission or big run of Hook in the clinch there by Aspinall. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. And he comes through with a big knee. Back and forth we go. Takedown defense holds up. Now he gets in more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. He is fighting with a definite kill instinct here tonight. It's not to happen. When you turn it always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around the way. Nice body kick there. Under two minutes now to go. Nice knees to the body. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Aspinall. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It drives by him. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that save. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured it. Aspinall gets pounded, and it's the elbow. Big ground and pound. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you be up on an elbow, you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Aspinall's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision. Good work from the top here by Jones. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, hammer fist here by Jones. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Johnny Bone. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is oh, as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, the round is over, and Aspinall is bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down, and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. You ready That's to fight? That That's right. <laughs> ready. Round two on the way. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands a big elbow there. Ooh, sidekick. Well timed there. What a kick. That one landed. Blocked that one. Nice, low single takedown. Jones gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Big punch lands through the middle. Attempt blocked by Aspinall. Some nice back and forth action here. Stuff 
the takedown, no problem. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear toes in this. Oh, big diamond punch to the head. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Jones. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and That's clearly that. is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue here to try to stop this fight. Now he's going full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Aspen. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, full guard now, DC. And put a guy on top. He needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to the feet. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cup. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting. It. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Heel hook looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Mm, that was nice. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's OK if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not gonna change. All right, feet on the hips here. Great defense by this fighter. Posture's up, ooh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe okay. gash on his face. This type of fight. You train for this. We're bloody. You ready? You ready? Do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame.
good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's office. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. That's good defense to block that punch. Takedown defense is there. Oh, uh, big elbow. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Aspinall's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? That kick blocked by Johnny Bone. An elbow! Oh, big left! In the half guard. Jones grounded pound from half guard now. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Aspinall's eye is disgusting. It is critical. I know DC has probably turned away at this point in time. They might need to call on the ringside position pretty soon here. Jones is in half court. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Immediately gets the under. Three past the midpoint here of the fight. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Beautiful kick. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm gonna take one to give one. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. Big slam takedown. That was huge. Goes upstairs for an elbow. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Our position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand right half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Aspinall's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, the round is over, and Aspinall's face is just masked in blood. I'm not sure if there's anything the cut man or woman can do in this situation. Probably not going to be able to stave off the doctor. This could very well be the end of the fight. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damaging blows. 
he's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter the seminal championship? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, went for the spinning kick there. Telegraphed it a little bit. No good. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, I separate. Aspinall's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Kick right under that right elbow. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt. Him. Oh, look at the guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's going to keep going there. Got to be careful here. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position it's by working. giving it up. Aspinall's got the full mount. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. It's a good jab there by the champion. Fighters separate from the clinch now. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find those things here, DC. They're gonna call in the ringside physician and take a look at what is a nasty cut. Well, he's gotta check on it, because you don't know if the fighter's gonna be able to continue. Fighters always want to fight, but it's up to the ringside physician to tell them if they're capable of it. Yeah, that's it. Doctor's gonna call an end to the fight. Crowd a little bit restless, but you had to do it just given the nature of that cut. All right, that is going to do it. Let us show you some replays. Now, targeting is a penalty in the NFL, certainly not in the UFC, and he targeted that cut exceedingly well tonight. Well, you cut your opponent, John. You start going to it over and over again to the point that the referee said, let me make sure and check on this guy's well-being. Let's see if he's capable and able of continuing the fight. And ultimately, they made their decision. And congratulations to his opponent on the TKO victory here tonight. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! So another big win for Johnny Bones Jones here tonight. He has every tool you could possibly...